Hello, all out there uh, enjoying our Saturday afternoon European style vintage improv. We are coming up to you live. And this is the Follies uh, on an early Saturday afternoon so that the European people can be still awake. Our next team is uh, Film Noir, and they are called Sane. Come on up, Sane. Thank you very much. So, is that when I'm starting to speak? <laughs> uh, to get us started, we would like uh, an object that you might connect or might not connect with film noir. Uh, and no gun, please. Anything no else? Gun. Yes, no gun. We have a cigar. Cigarette. A cigar. Cigarette. cigarette. <laughs> Apparently, we're going to smoke. All right. Thank you very much. Can do that. So what's up, Kathy? Stamp Tom. Out of here. Yeah. Yeah. There's always some reason that you're taking those little nips. Yeah, to keep my nerves and my heat. Calm yeah. me down. So have you seen anyone pass by that is suspicious enough to be noticed? There was one guy. Yeah, I had to kind of keep checking him out because he kept looking at me. And uh, he was like, what is she doing wearing sunglasses when it's cold? And I just kind of said in my head, hey, mind your own damn business. I'll wear my sunglasses whenever and wherever I choose. <laughs> so he was just one, some lonely soul in the, in the cold? I think so, yeah. Oof. Yeah. You know, when I have these sunglasses on, I'm not as shivery. Really? Just saying. It's helping. You say we should all wear sunglasses in the night. Anyway, I think it's the usual people passing by like clockwork, isn't it? Yeah, this is a busy street. A little too busy for what we're thinking about. Oh, Kathy, I love you. I really like working with you. I like working with you too, Tom, because you know how to keep your mouth shut. Oh, you're telling me I'm talking too much again now. <laughs> well, standing here for two hours is pretty lonesome. Yeah. Wow, Kathy. Soon we might be rich. Oh. Or we might be in prison. Is that, isn't that what we passed to say? No, no, no. We're not taking the second scenario. We're taking the first scenario. Well, you know, it's just an old saying, isn't it? Either you become rich or you go to jail. Mm. No. Kind of. I'm claustrophobic. Oh, he keeps telling me that. <laughs> Let's hope it's more warm there if we go there. But I'll settle for the first. I'll just take a round, okay? Yeah, gotcha. See you in a bit, Tom. Yeah, 
Jacqueline, I saw those two idiots. They were on Main Street. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All these people, broad daylight. Yeah, they was just sitting there smoking. They're such idiots. Yeah. Okay. Well, they never change, right, Joe? They never, never change. I've got the feeling that. Well, hey, yeah. you're, looking, yeah. you're looking pretty good, by the way. Oh, thank you very much. Like that. Like that. And you. <laughs> oh, yeah. Same old, same old. Hey, listen, they're plotting. I know, they're plotting. I can just tell the way they, you know. Put the little heads together. Yeah, yeah. They, you know how they well, always do. Yeah. Well, I think, back in the, do you remember back in the days when we uh, played poker with them together? You could tell like any single card they had on their hands. Yeah, so. Uh, and the, um, the one named Tom, he had on that goofy hat that he wears. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, the one I mean. <laughs> Oh, yeah. oh, it's a disguise. Yeah, he, he, oh, he yeah. Is, nobody was going to recognize him. No, no oh, way. No way. Mm -hmm. Well, actually, this is pretty good. Uh, so that having them around, well, behaving in such an obvious way, actually keeps the police away from us. <laughs> yeah. Perfect distraction, the two of them. Yeah, definitely. But, yeah. I've heard about something like attention management. So that's actually what it is, isn't it? They get all the attention, which is good. And we in disguise. And no one will even notice us. So maybe... Okay, the cafe is pretty obvious over there. You know, maybe we should go to, maybe we should get off of Main Street and uh, go down one of those side streets. Yeah, we should definitely do so. Um, probably two blocks that way. It's, it's Elm, that's actually Elm and um, uh, Main, so. Yeah. We can go down there, and I'm sure by now, whatever it is they're going to do, they've got a plan. They've yes. got a plan, right? Yes. All right. Okay. Uh, I'll see you. Let's meet there in like 20 minutes. Okay. See okay. you then. Oh, I have to huddle into this cafe to get the heat. What do you think? He said, if my buddy Tom's wearing a hat, then I'm going to put on a hat. <laughs> you want a sip? I do. Nice hat. I would say it's more of a summer hat than a winter hat, but... It's all in your mind. I keep telling you, wear what you want and the warmth will come. Maybe it's a cold on this. Everyone is mocking me for my hat, actually. I knew that. Just a stranger passed by. I didn't know who it was. And he said, oh, silly hat. This is the first thing I bought from my first theft. It's a kind of lucky charm. <laughs> yeah, I got my lucky charm. You got? What's your lucky charm? It's in my pocket. I don't show it. Because that way it's not going to be lucky anymore. Well, actually, I have a second lucky charm. I said mm -hmm. to myself, when we finish this thing, I'm going to smoke a big cigar. <laughs> Celebration. I do like a man who smokes a cigar. 
Oh, Kathy, are you coming on to me? We've been friends for ages. I'm not coming on to you yet. You'll know when I'm coming on to you. We've known each other for ages. We could make a decent couple. Working, walking into the post office. Becoming a couple is the end of friendship. Didn't hurt asking, didn't it? Didn't hurt. Here's your whiskey back. Oh, I'm smiling, Tom, because I just, uh, you know, I, I just thought um, you just kind of just took me by surprise. That's all, I guess. Oh. Ah. If it's just one in a million chance, I need to work my odds. Mm. And if we make the money, maybe. Oh, the money will definitely make a difference. Oh. <laughs> anyway, I think the payment should arrive at the post office in 20 minutes. 20 minutes. 20 minutes. 20 minutes. Oh, payday. I'll be at the back door. You take the front. Absolutely. See you on the other side. <laughs> yes. Jail our money. Jail our money on to stay sane. <sighs> oh, there you are. Very good. <laughs> yeah, you're over at the rock bar. At the rock bar now. Ah, nice place, right? And, and they're wearing the stupidest hats you've ever seen. Really? <laughs> yeah, it's really funny. I guess they think uh, between the sunglasses, the hat, and all the cigarette smoke, we, nobody will recognize them. Surely. <laughs> all right, um, shall we just uh, talk about our plan? So, um... I thought sure. about uh, this new art gallery. Um, I think there has been um, there have been some some um, artworks, um, very valuable artworks, um, just being. I think oh no, some some very rich person um, has lent them to the museum or to the exhibition. So I thought. Um, we might have a closer look at them. This is remarkable. The art gallery is right next to the post office. And that's what they're planning on doing. They're going to hit the post. Right, right. I heard right. Okay, so he's going to be in the front and she's going to be in the back of the post and they're trying to intercept this package. So while they're messing with that, in two hours, we'll be in the gallery. And what nobody will recognize what we will do <laughs> and how close our look at the artworks <laughs> will actually be. Mm -hmm. This couldn't be going better. This is really falling in place. Yeah. Um, what we would need uh, okay. would be um, a car. So um, I already checked um, the size of the artworks. So um, I think a regular car should do. Uh, but yeah, not the not the uh, red convertible, uh, but uh, like a decent. Well, but yeah, um, I think we can simply take my neighbors. Okay. So he's very old and doesn't, doesn't actually um, 
care about who takes this car. So, yeah. Okay. I think we've got it. Yeah. Circle back two hours. Okay. I get the car. Got it. <clears throat> okay. Tom should be coming in the back right about now. <clears throat> the package. Oh, nice. It's right up on that shelf. This is just too easy. What the hell is this is too easy. Well, all right, I'll go for easy. I mean, rich and easy. Oh. They need a package of beer in the back somewhere. This is packaged. Oh. I'll just sneak out again, I guess. Nobody knows, nobody bothers. No jail but mine. No, whoa. I guess I got the package. No, no, you didn't get the package. I got the package. You didn't even come in the back door on time. It wasn't behind the counter. Tom, we had a plan. No, oh, here it is. All right, open it, open it. Okay, hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. What's wrong How did I mess up my own plan? I got the money. What do you mean? Okay, I just, like a dummy, took another package. What, what's and in it? Some pictures, some framed artwork. They look, they look gross. Yeah, I mean, okay, I just calm no, down, Kathy. You made a mistake. Just own it. We, mistakes happens. I mean, we didn't go to jail. We got the money. We got the money. Lady and gentlemen. I think you are not supposed to be here. Could you please show your IDs? Oh, yeah. Absolutely. That's a lot of people around here. Here you go. This is Main Street. Who are you? Who are you? I mean, what are you asking us for our IDs? I'm Inspector Kennedy. I know you, so maybe you've seen me before. One of your strange actions and events you always plan. Oh, so, you're, guard you're guarding the gallery? I guard the town and the gallery and the post office in which you just tried to break in. So I think... You tried to break in? We're outside, aren't we? We went in there to check our P.O. box. <laughs> You should really do something about your poker faces. They're really bad. So um, I suppose 
you should leave this place sure. as fast as you can. Sorry, can so and better don't let me think twice about that. Just Go. to the Go. Go. Why, why Go. all these people Go. over there? Go. Tom! Kathy. It can also take you to the police office. No, no problem. I just what? wonder about the fine cars at the gallery. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, we'll humble off. Let's go take a walk, Tom. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. Now. Sorry, Kathy, sorry. Um, excuse me, excuse me, um, young man, uh, young lady, I, can anyone give me directions? To, I need directions to the art museum. Oh, are you new to town? I haven't met you before. Yeah, I'm just here for this exhibit. And I, um, happened to notice this couple walking away with, um, I think one of them was my package. Damn it, okay. I actually wanted them to leave it here. Okay, the art gallery is right next, uh, next door is actually a uh, few houses uh, to the right. Um, I'll okay. go after them and check. Okay, okay. Over there. Wait. Kathy, Tom, yeah, where's all right. So you of course were meant to leave the packages in the post office where they're supposed to be and not take them with you. I could just hand them over. We don't have any packages, Inspector. We just checked our PO boxes. Yeah. That's so. what you always say. I we mean, that just five minutes ago, yeah? This is a happy day for Tom and I. We're actually decided instead of being friends, we're going to go on a date. Oh, sure. We are? Yeah, yeah we are. It's to destroy friendships. I know you've been to primary school together. Yeah, I thought that too. But you know, there's just something about him. If he just learns to keep his mouth shut, that's really attractive. Really attractive. I mean, he's just kind of grown into his aging. Well. You can go for Romans, I don't care about that, but I would like to search your bag. Be my guest. Here you go. Thank you. Ah. At least that little one here really looks like you're not supposed to have that one. Here's your bag. I take this Thank one. You. Do you believe in uh, lucky charms, Inspector? Well, I used to, but that didn't work. Well, it depends. If you believe in them strongly enough, they work really well. <sighs> Right, I'm not Tom? Much of a believer. I'm sorry, what? I didn't hear you. I'm not really much of a believer. Mm. Oh, well. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> Kathy, we're late for our date. I know. Yeah, I, I leave you to your own. I'm excited. I am so excited. I can't believe I'm saying I'm excited. I mean, I'm usually the one that is such a. <sighs> That's my package. That was it. Jacqueline, that was it. Yeah. Uh, I know. I got it, actually. Uh, well, I'm not quite sure. Is is it this one? Wait. So, 
was a little bit too small. But is it this one? It's that one. Yeah. All right. Oh, I'm so glad. Uh, I wasn't sure because she had it in her bag, and of course, claimed she she didn't. <sighs> okay. All right. But that's what we needed. That's what we needed. Yeah. So we, so we need to get rid of them. I well, I somehow think so. Yes. Okay. Um, well, what I've done, um, I searched the bag, but I also um, put something into it. You know that, that little spray I uh, use? So, oh, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, it's on her lipstick now. So she, they're having a date. I, I simply suppose she's going to put up some lipstick in between uh, and starts to kiss him. So uh, we'll be good. We'll be good. Uh, you know, let's just let them go. We got what we want. We got each other. Yes. Let's just get out of here. Yeah. Let's have lunch. Sounds good. And that's our show. We're in the money. Come on back, saying. Oh, you've got two cigarettes. Great. So we can even do killing within less than one minute. <laughs> <laughs> this is Christian Winther. Uh, introduce yourself, y'all, you please, and, and say where you're from. Christian Winther, Denmark. Dumay, right now I'm in Provincetown, Massachusetts. Jesse, I'm in Germany. And I'm Sandy. I'm in Tucson. And we're saying.